think it's on. Is it on? Is it? What? I look so cute. Oh, God. I look like an old washed up whore. Oh, that's what your mom said. She did not. No, she did. Oh, you're lying. You're anyway, like... we're so excited. We are, for your consideration, Emmy consideration, Outstanding Actors. Both of us. In a short form um, series. And then Outstanding uh, uh, Outstanding, outstanding series, series short form, short form oh, in a comedy or drama. This is exhausting. Smothered. And Mitch Hara and Jason Stewart. Right, and you can watch it on SmotheredTV.com. SmotheredTV.com. We love you. Is, oh, stop saying that. You don't love me. I do. I love deeply. No, you don't. Not you, but you I do love You don't people. care about other people. You tell me that. I don't care about you. I don't want to hear about other people. Well, I don't care about other people's problems. I don't problems. care about their lives. I don't, I don't Well, exactly. exactly. I don't care about what I don't care about. Oh, God. You look like an old skeleton. I look fabulous. Oh, let's turn. Is this You're off? You're so jealous. Is this off? Oh, did you turn it off? It's a minute. Here, catch my breath. Your hands on my neck. This full of love fits like a glove. Sometimes I think I just can't. Then I can't get enough of your love. Love you, hate you, love you, hate you, love you. What are you doing? I don't, well, what is this? I wanted a piece of cucumber. I don't laugh at everything I say. I, I don't want you to touch my salad dressing. I don't want your fucking salad dressing. Okay. I wanted a slice okay, of calm a cucumber. Down. Calm down. I know you have seen several other professionals. Oh in my this, God, he has dragged me to an onslaught of stupid. Please, don't, in don't Okay, you, okay, okay, don't okay. Hey! Excuse me. How is that possible? I'm sorry. Let's try. Not to talk over each other. Perfect. And let's try not to start sentences with he. he. Both of you. When we use he, that's a way that we blame others. Oh, good. For because things. he blames me for everything. 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 Yes. See, he's not histrionic, is he? Oh, God! And let's try to focus on specific incidents. No always, no never, no everything. Feeling words. How does it make us feel? Well, I don't know how us feels about anything. Ugh. I only know how I feel. How does it make you feel? Oh, I feel like putting a hairnet over his head and deep frying his face. I don't have any hair and you're just mean. <laughs> you're Ralph, idiot. Ralph, how does it make you feel? I feel like he's done with me. Like I'm just a used condom. So whatever a person feels they are is who they really are, right? Because you become what you feel. Well, that's not necessarily the case. So other... I am sexy and lovable and charming and he feels like a used condom. I feel like I'm living with Cayenne West. Kanye, for fuck's sake. Oh, who gives a shit? Wow. Well then, if I'm so horrible, why do you want to stay with me? Because, Randy, I love who you could be. So not actually who I am, uh -huh. but some fantasy that I will turn into somebody else in the future. Yes, and I feel very strongly about that. Well, I feel very strongly that we should separate or he should die. See, he says these terribly mean things and then he can't take them back and then he's sorry for them. I'm not sorry. And I don't want to take anything back. I cannot stand who you are right. presently or who you might be in the future. Then why don't you just take out a gun and shoot me? Well, I could shoot you in your sleep, but I'm not a violent person. No, you're an emotional terrorist. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck, fuck you. you. Fuck fuck you. Mm. Okay, how do you feel right now? Hey! Wait. Stop okay. it. Feeling words. How do you both feel right now? Like you are ineffective and your hairdresser must hate women. I feel like you want to fuck Randy and I don't know why you wore that <laughs> stupid dress. We are not, not talking about me right now. Let's turn the focus back on you. Ralph, how do you feel right now? I feel um, like if we were on TV, 
I would be the Lucy. <laughs> and you would be the Ethel. And he'd be 20 pounds overweight. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard in my life. Oh. You're way closer to Fred Mertz. So if we were in uh, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. You'd be Joan Crawford. I'm the Betty. No, I'm the Betty. And you'd be the nagging, annoying bitch in the wheelchair, Blanche. So what if we were in terms of endearment? I'd be Shirley MacLaine and win an Academy Award. And you'd be Deborah Winger. I would be the dead one? A hundred percent. He cheated on me. He said he wanted an open relationship. I said I wanted to be more open in our relationship. Do you see how confusing that is? Oh, he just hears whatever he wants to hear. Doesn't everyone? I hear you. I hear every mean, nasty thing that you say to me. Well, what part of let's split up don't you hear? You don't really want that. I do. No, you don't. I really do. No, you don't. Yes. You've been saying that since we, since we met. Yeah, and I knew after our second date, this was going to be a big mistake. You did not. I did. But shit goes by so fast. And all this like days turn into months and months turn into years. And all of a sudden it's New Year's again. And then it's your birthday. And then you look around and you think, you know, where the fuck your life went? What have we been doing for the last 22 years? We agreed on 14. spot just because they're late for a movie. Plus, they fucking stiffed me. Love you, hate you, love you, hate you, love you. Here, get my breath. Your hands on my neck. This bipolar love fits like a glove. Sometimes I think I just can't. Then I can't get enough of your You're just doing that to embarrass me in front of the therapist. Oh, come on. Don't be cray-cray. Just a second. You know that she likes me better. And that's just the way I always feel. Well, it would seem that Randy has a very healthy self-image. Right? Wait, wait. Does that mean that I'm the sick one? Oh, yeah. Well, I, I, I mean, everybody I, loves me. It's just my natural being. I, I radiate a charm and a love that, you know, makes people happy and want to be around me. And Ralph is so jealous. He can't even breathe. Everyone hates you. Oh, everyone in the universe? Yes, everyone. All my friends, they hate him. Okay, I said he, it. He doesn't have any friends. You have no friends. That's not true. No, it is. Which fictitious friends hate me? A third of them. Oh, now it's a third. Well, what's their names? Dimitri? The African cashier at Gelson's? Yes, and Vindu. It's a young straight boy that I'm mentoring. The Hindu cashier from 7-Eleven. Yes, Vindu. It means cow finder. See, he sexualizes everyone. Again with the everyone. And I never sexualize that fetus. That's your fantasy, Daddy. If you were having sex with me, I wouldn't have to mentor them. Well, now that was very revealing. Chew that. He doesn't even speak English anymore. Have you read my book, Nothing's Broke Till You Fix It? And we did have sex a week ago. Well, that doesn't count. You were on your phone watching porn. Ugh. See, that's the only way I can do it. It is the that's only way. That's not true. He's lying. No, it's true. It was Straight Broke Boys, episode 72, when the straight surfer needed money for his sick dog. Oh, yeah. Have uh -huh. you seen it, Dr. Allen? Oh, no. I'm heterosexual. And so is the surfer. Oh, I love broke straight boys. I know. 
So who else hates me? The cashier at Taco Bell. Betty. Betty? Mm-hmm. Bareback Betty, the drag queen cashier from Hamburger Mary's. Well, she's my best friend. That old whore called me Marilyn Manson. Just to be clear, it was Charles Manson. He's dead, so it doesn't matter. Isn't that fucking lovely? Come on. She meant it in a dirty, sexy, kind of young kind of way. No. When he was writing all the songs for the Beach Boys, remember? Beach Boys? No. No. I do not think her intention was the young, sexy period. I think she was talking about when he was in prison with the swastika on his forehead and the craggly beard and the nine-inch fucking nails. Like Hugh Hefner. Oh, honey, I think it was Howard Hughes. Whatever. She's a waste of skin, and I don't care about her. He doesn't care about anybody himself. Just how he feels, how he looks, who's watching him walk down the street. True. We've been together for 22 years. We agreed on 14. 21. 13. 17. 11. Randy. I'm Ralph. Randy. Um, Randy. He's Randy. I'm Randy. How long have you two been together? I don't know. I have a two-year memory. You know, in chapter two of my book, Dead But No Toe Tag... Why aren't we having sex anymore? You're like an Alzheimer victim. We had sex three days ago. When? Oh, my God. We whacked each other off during This Is Us. When the father comes home. Yeah, during the flashback to Vietnam. That's the closest I felt to you this season. See? This This Is is us. Us. Okay, I think we can all agree this is a common area we can explore. In chapter six of my book, Sharing But Not Stealing. I don't think this is working for us. Seriously? She started out so right, and then took an ugly turn to the left. I regret spitting on them. I don't know what happened.